In this video, we're going to introduce to you how you can place sound, or music in this case, in your PowerPoint presentation. I'm going to click on my folder here and show you that we already have the sound in the folder. It's imperative that you place the sound in the folder so you know where everything is located. Next, let's insert it into the PowerPoint. To do that, I'm going to click on Insert, and over here to the right, it has Audio. I'll click on the down arrow, and it says Audio from File. We have two other things we can do, but we're going to click on that one for right now. And we're going to click on the File, click on Insert, and you'll notice that it appears in the middle of the screen. To make sure that's correct, just simply click on this little icon, and you should hear it playing. And if that's the right song, just simply hit Stop. No problem. Next, we want to click on the word Playback. When you do that, you probably want to hide this or pull it to the left. I'm going to click on Hide. Then hit my playback button again, and I'm going to click on my down arrow, and I say play across slides. When you do, what you'll need to do is click on animation, and it says animation pane. Click on your down arrow, and you'll see it says the word timing. Now for timing, you want it to start with the previous, click on the effect, and you want it to stop after... Let's say you have 10 slides or whatever, and you only want this to play for two. So simply type in the number two and click on OK. This means in slide number three, you can start a new song if you want. But this will stop after two or 22, whatever you like it to do. Simply click on OK. Once that's done, you're, and make sure you hit the word save. This will work now. I'm going to click on play here and it's starting and if you can hear that in the background your music will go all the way through until we get to slide two there's one there we go there's three can't do any more because unless you wanted to okay hopefully that part made sense now if you want to I'm on slide number three I'm gonna click on insert again over here where audio Click on my down arrow where it says record audio. I'm going to click on that. Now you must have a microphone plugged in. And what I'm going to do is record my voice, which will come on on slide three. For example, you are currently looking at several of the students and you're looking at the hard work that they have performed. Now, I'm going to click on the uh, playback again. I'm going to hide this during the, that horn again during the session but over here to the right I want to have timing and I want it to start with the previous and click on effect and I only want that to go for one slide and click on OK. Now when we run it let's do that so we can see what happened. Here's slide number one. Here's slide number two. Here's slide number three. You are currently looking at several of the students, and you're looking at the hard work that they have performed. The last sound you may want to do is simply click on Insert over here to the right, or Audio. Click on the down arrow, and you'll notice it says Clip Art Audio. Click on that, and you can place in here whatever you like. Uh, typewriter, uh, Stage Light, Arc. Double click on that. And it's going to perform there. And uh, here's trigger. Click here. Click on your down arrow. Timing. And you can have it come on with after the previous. And of course you have your duration, how long you want it. And uh, do that twice. Whatever you'd like to do. You can place different sounds in there for you to experiment with if you like to do that. 